Ben wants to know why is he eligible to play again this year? Oh, just because it's very convenient. And and again, I, I'm not saying that as a criticism for Collingwood or, or the AFL in coming down with this decision. We know that the AFL negotiates outcomes when they can control totally yep. what's in front of them. I don't have an issue with it. It, it expedites the uh, the whole process or expedites the whole process and, and, and allows people to move on. So the moving on part of this means that he's going to miss 10 games of footy, but he's still got hope in a big picture sense for 2019. All right, we will I, I would have given him more just to jump yeah. on. on I, I would have given him the remainder of the year as a starting point. The, so just flat from, out, even, including finals, yeah. you're just done. Yeah, and I just think that's the, the, the price you pay for being as dumb as he was, was in, in placing a total of, of $36, and that's the official finding, a total of $36 amongst these three bets on rounds four, six, and nine. The games being against Western Bulldogs, um, Essendon on Anzac Day and then St Kilda in round nine uh, for a combination of, of win bets um, for him to kick a certain amount of goals or goals in a game and also teammates of his to or a teammate of his yep. to get a certain amount of disposals. They're, they're the combinations. All bets, just to be part of this storytelling, were unsuccessful. Yep. They were multi bets within those particular rounds. Now, we're getting a lot of comments along this sort of similar vein of line. Yep. Uh, Lee, the AFL need to get rid of the betting company they have as sponsors if they don't want players betting. Double standards from the AFL. Your thoughts on this? Because yeah. we do have a show called Pick a Winner um, by <laughs> BetEasy yeah. on afl.com.au as well. Yep. And we've got, obviously, yep. commercial deals that the L AFL Lee, I, I hear your questioning here. I hear it from a lot of people. We get it almost uh, on, on a weekly basis. Um, Last time I checked, it's legal. Um, last time I checked, players are told not to bet. Let, let, let's isolate the two issues yep. here. Um, you can have your view on morals and ethics about the gambling, but it is legal, and until it's banned, as 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 um, as was done with um, cigarettes and tobacco over the years, that eventually became outlawed. Right now, it's legal. I, I don't have the same issue as, as you do, Lee. I understand why you have it. I, don't get me wrong, but I don't have the same issue. This is a separate issue. This is a dumb act by a footballer who refused to listen to what he had been lectured over and over again.